Hi everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have another garage sale, estate sale finds video for you. And uh, before I show you the merchandise, let me go ahead and do a quick shout out. I uh, want to go ahead and bring your attention to somebody I think you will just love. And that's Michelle with Thrifting 101. Uh, identify and buy vintage glassware. Michelle uh, visits uh, thrift stores mainly, but also garage sales, estate sales. Finds wonderful vintage items and uh, does exhaustive research on them. And then will able, be able to tell you what she's found and how much she thinks she's going to go ahead and get for it. She has exhaustive knowledge about mid-century up until about the, well, to current, uh, information on glassware and pottery. So uh, especially if you're a reseller and you want to know what things are, uh, she is a great resource to have. If, if you're a collector, she finds some amazing stuff. So give her channel um, a look out and you'll see the link to her channel in the comment section of my video. So let's go ahead and talk about what I found. Went to a family run uh, estate sale and I didn't go there first thing, which was not smart. <laughs> I will admit that now. Um, but I got there, oh, about 30 minutes or so after they started. Got the following things and as usual, we'll get the um, uh, other, this useful stuff out of the way. These were, the soaps were anywhere from 25 cents to 50 cents a piece, so I got five of those. I got some Eternity for Men uh, aftershave, Bon Ami, <laughs> uh, 50 cents, two of the Clorox disaffecting wipes, 50 cents a piece, um, the wipes, 50 cents, uh, and then I got the socks, uh, brand new, $2. I got 36 greeting cards, 10 cents a piece. They actually got even to me you know, uh, $3.50 for $36. So some really nice ones in here, some funny ones for friends, etc. Then I went into the kitchen, and it was the land of Fire King. So I got this um, rectangular one, and uh, I got it for $2. And this one is called Candle Glow, and it's the one quart. It, it uh, goes for about $5 or so on the sold listings on eBay. So $2 there. I got this covered round casserole Fire King. Uh, it's called Meadow Green. And uh, it goes for about $6 on eBay sold listings. I also got the matching oval um, casserole as well in the Meadow Green. And it is going for about five without the lid so don't really know how much that would be otherwise i got this cup someone had just told me oh i found a um a pyrex uh butter dish at the thrift clearance center and i was going wow that was a great deal and one of the first things i got when i went into the cabinet into this kitchen is i looked up in the kitchen cabinet next to the mugs and i saw this i go uh oh what's on top what's on top well it wasn't Amish butter print <laughs> or gooseberry, but I did find this, and it is, um, I want to see where is that at. I thought I had it here. Pyrex Snowflake Garland uh, is what this is. It has the Pyrex on the bottom. I don't know if you're actually going to be. Of course it's upside down. It's my story of my life. But anyways, um, I got that for $1.00. And uh, I see that they are selling for eight to fourteen dollars. And I forgot to mention, uh, this was two dollars. This was two dollars. They were marked four, but he was dealing. Uh, I also found this little bowl there, and it is um, Fire King as well. Uh, it's a really small one, and it is blue cornflower. Um, let's see what my notes say. Twelve. No, it's not. I don't know what that says. It says mini. Um, it's a uh, mini casserole. And it's going for $9, which is interesting. I don't know what makes that so much more desirable. I found this Fenton um, Silvercrest vase. And uh, it's got that ruffled edge that I just think is so pretty. I went to an estate sale years ago, and it was the second day. And... Um, it said that they opened at 8, but I think they advertised incorrectly, and uh, the door was open. I walked in. I'm shopping and making a pile, and the lady comes out and says, 
what are you doing? She goes, we're not open yet. I go, I'm sorry, the door was open and I swear you said eight o'clock. She said, oh, keep shopping. So I was checking out when everybody else got there. So I got incredible deals, including um, several platters of this Fenton. Uh, so I have several things to match it. It said three, but I got it for a dollar. And it was up in a coat closet with a bunch of those uh, glass vases that you get uh, when you get flowers delivered. So that was a great find. Um, the last thing I found in the house there was this green bowl. And I had never seen anything like it before. Um, it is, um, let me see what it is. Hazel Atlas Milk Glass Ovide, O-V-I-D-E, Platinite. Forest Green, P-L-A-T-O-N-I-T-E. I had never heard of it. It almost, the finish almost makes you think that somebody painted the inside of this bowl. And there's nothing listed on the bottom. It is completely blank. But you can see the green is uh, all over it. I could not find anything like this. It is a large bowl. The only thing I see on eBay are cereal bowls. And if this was a cereal bowl, Jethro would be eating out of it. So... Um, don't know what that one is. So let's show you the other thing that I got is I went to a garage sale. Didn't look like it was going to be anything. And I found this Pyrex bowl. It's a number 444, which is the largest Cinderella bowl. And uh, in the autumn harvest wheat, uh, kind of a burnt orange kind of looking color, deep color. And it is going for $23 to $26 which was kind of surprising that it's going for that much money, but that sounds great. Um, and then the last thing I did is I went to, well, actually the first thing is why I got to that sale, family estate sale late, is I went to a church sale. And uh, I got there very early. They had made the mistake, at least for their standpoint, great for me, of... Um, not advertising until the the very late the 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 evening before the sale or either very early in the morning the day of the sale so i'm standing there by myself 30 minutes before the sale starts i'm first in line and then my nemesis shows up for the jewelry so we both rush in they let us go in at least 15 minutes early and he started grabbing everything on the jewelry table. I had to just scoop some stuff up and then go in a corner and look. I found this medallion. It weighs 11, if I can get it up here, 11 grams. And it's got these little spaces on either side. Oh, wait a minute. No, this was at a garage sale. I forgot. This says Sterling. Uh, it was $1. I forgot that I got this at a garage sale. I found this. I found this Boy Scouts. Of everything I scooped up, I found three things. I found this Boy Scouts pin. It is, says Sterling. I found this necklace. And I forgot what the minister said this was, but it's a religious um pendant and it's on a sterling chain and I thought oh I, it looks like sterling but when I lo looked they put this um, bale right over the sterling mark if you look in here you can see sterling that kind of spans goes under this entire <laughs> uh, bale here so <laughs> it is sterling uh, it is a good weight so that was nice but the best thing of the week are these unassuming little earrings so I got these, went over in my corner. I even had to get out my loop to look because I could, not loop, but a little magnifying glass, and I saw 14 karat. I thought, oh, wow, I actually found some gold this week. I come home, and I think, huh, those stones are looking pretty good. I better check them out with my diamond tester. They are diamonds. They're 0.15 carats, and I got these for a dollar. So a dollar here, a dollar for the necklace. They threw the... Um, uh, Boy Scout pin in for free. I also got the two hair gels, a dollar a piece. So I paid four dollars for three pieces of jewelry and the hair gel, and I got diamond earrings for a dollar. So that is my thrill of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this type of thing, go ahead and um, uh, send me a comment, subscribe to my channel because I'd love to hear from you and um, have you share your knowledge and your interests with me as well. So thanks so much. Bye bye.